What's up gamers and welcome to another exciting edition of This Week in Madden Show 170. We've got a special guest for you tonight. It is the man, the myth, the legend, Mutt Guru. What a beard on this guy right here. You may know him from the EA Sports Mutt Twitter account. Just a long time community guy, a guy that's on the side of the community. Great to have him here. He's got a lot of information for you tonight. We're just going to extract as much as we can. And uh, we're going to just share some up. We're going to talk, talk history, talk future, talk a little bit of everything. Uh, enough of me. Talk about you. Hey, man. Farles, thanks for having me on. I really appreciate it, man. I've been watching the show for a long time. Long time viewer. You know, first time, long uh, first time. time. First time uh, guest, long time viewer. So it's uh, great to finally be on here, and uh, definitely my my honor too, man. I mean, you guys, you guys have been out there doing it a long time in the community, doing it for the community, and uh, you know, it's awesome, man. Yeah, it's awesome. This is a lot of fun what we do here, and uh, you know, it's mo it's for you guys, you know. So uh, here for you today to answer some questions, hang out, and play a little mutt. Absolutely. So first thing up is the Greg Lloyd just hit last weekend, this weekend. Beast. We've got him and Donovan McNabb out as the legends. Tell us kind of your favorite thing about this Greg Lloyd. It's the 1995. Where would you put him in your lineup? It's been some hot legends lately. This past two two weekends has been pretty incredible. This uh, and this weekend, uh, nothing different with uh, Lloyd and McNabb coming. Uh, Lloyd's a little. He's kind of like a. Uh, we have Jerry Porter as the other player at that out at that outside linebacker that's super solid. We've come out came out with him a couple weeks ago, um, and they compare up really well. The thing is, they kind of do something. Uh, each each have their strengths. Uh, you know, some are strong in other points. Some are uh, strong in others. But the thing about Lloyd. Is he's your he's your enforcer, like I was saying. He's your he's your tackler. He's your run run stuffer, right? He's not necessarily the best pass rusher, or the best coverage guy. Uh, Porter does those a little bit uh, better, in my opinion. Right, right. But Lo Lloyd is that guy that's going to step up, fill that hole, and uh, make a solid tackle for you. His block shedding is is pretty yeah. Ridiculous. So a couple weeks ago, I was talking to RG, and he made a really good point. And it's some guys I I look down upon that don't have great block shed so strength and block shed plus play rec i feel like that gives you the ability to plug a run hole i didn't favor those guys enough but rg was looking through a list of these guys and he's like oh that guy's great for that yep. so quan alexander yep. a guy that just came out i feel like he's got that strength block shed he's gonna plug gaps lloyd gives you the uh 92 power move with with acceleration is going to be really good for rushing plus you get the block shed pursuit i think that pursuit kind of locks power. in there with the with the acceleration and that hip power kind yeah. of make for like a threesome of of you know like a trifecta there right of knocking the ball out filling the hole stopping the run that's what you want to look for in a guy like that it's a pretty serious item right there now uh, as we get into the show tonight we're talk real quick about mutt rewards i know last week some guys got a little gift can you explain first of all how you sign up for mutt rewards there's been a lot of people that I think didn't sign up right away, and they saw the copies of the game. Get put <laughs> yeah. out. And that, that generated a lot of like, well, what about me? What's next? Right. Can I go back and get stuff? Right. But then people that signed up, they're still getting, you give them like random contract. You're just like dumping stuff out from time to time. Like, I can't believe more people haven't signed up. Maybe they don't know how. Like, so you just need to go to uh, muttrewards.com, simple as that. You uh, use your origin origin email address and uh, and sign up. It's really that easy. It connects with your gamer tag, your console, and uh, what you're going to see is three different tiers of rewards, pro, all pro, and legendary. So you're going to get different things based off of those rewards. Uh, everything from games delivered to your door to uh, contracts popping up in game. Now we're not, we don't release a schedule per se of when we're right. going to do that. You know, so it's kind of we will let you know on Twitter. So be sure to follow the Twitter channel, of course, EA Sports underscore Mutt, uh, for for news on that. But you know, we, what we like to do is a lot of surprises too. Like people logged into their email address the other day and uh, got. 
EA access codes for 30 day trial. You know what's pretty so. good about that? Uh, there's a pew, pew, yeah. Pew, taste there's the a game there's... coming up. I don't know if you've heard of yeah. it, but uh, you're gonna be able to check that out early and pew pew. So that's gonna be that's them. gonna be pretty awesome. Uh, before we get into any real business, let's just both take 30 seconds to vent. Uh, about S. Gibbs because we both work with S. Gibbs, me on this show here, you over at the EA studios. Like, I mean, does he ever just come to your cube while you're like putting up a blog and it's just like, don't put that blog up like that. You're stupid. You smell uh, bad. You, you know, and that's because I play Madden. He's like, don't call that play. You're stupid. You smell bad. Right. Now, you know, he doesn't. But what he does is he wears a lot of plaid. So he, much plaid. So much plaid. Yeah. And then he'll go S. S. Gribbs. He easily slips into the Gribbs mode when when on the sticks. I hear him over there. It's a whole new man over the cube. Oh, wall. you've like, got to sit just, over the cube. It's Doctor, wall, yeah, it's Doctor Jekyll and S Gribbs. It really is. I'm telling you. Do you know don't, that that bro puts on Boston Sports Radio at his cube, and it's <laughs> that like is so hard. Oh, bro, you don't have an He's office. Like, <laughs> you've got a cube. You think all these other cats want to listen to them talk about how good Tom Brady is? Between the, between that and Coleman's um, uh, Frank Sinatra, it's it's the an hoop god. Area. Yeah, he the plays hoop god Frank Sinatra. goes hard on the Frank Sinatra. So, yeah, just get that S. Gribbs off our chest. and uh, I feel better now. It's, yeah, do. it's better to have better. you on the show than him this week. Uh, special guest. We love you, Gibbs. We love you, man. All right, here we go. Uh, we got some questions for you. Cool. Community submitted some tough ones. We've got some road to the playoffs stuff that people are excited about. Good stuff, yeah. The main thing about that is everything that will be released will be released on the EA Sports That's it. Twitter. So as you and I talk right yeah. now, uh, it is not released yet, but by the time we air this guy, uh, you guys are going to be enjoying some of the first uh, drops of Road to the Playoffs. And just a, a little information here that will be out there by the time this does air is we're going to kind of roll things out. It's not one just big drop, but we got good stuff coming at you all next week, or all this week, What's actually. What's so awesome is that people will never know that you just told them that it's a long lead up, like right. that, that it's not an all one drop. Right. And you know when the first thing drops for to the playoffs, you're gonna get someone who's like, "That's it." What? The, what? This is it? I can't and then believe this. Now the, and then when this is live, they'll know. Like more's uh, coming. Oh my gosh! I shouldn't have sent that mean tweet. So uh, we got a little preview of what's to come. Yeah, We're let's gonna go through a couple. Cycle screens through here. that real fast, and uh, people will get their pause button ready. Uh, this here looks like some new solo challenges. To me, uh, we've also got. Oh, now this one cycle g- quick. Get quick. through that one. All right, uh, okay, that was enough for that NFL one. That was just a quick journey. Sneak peek. Looks like another NFL journey. Journey coming too. In. So that's wow. what we saw there too. Yeah, more solo challenge. Uh, this is cl- uh, sets here. Perhaps new sets, and then of course Roadmaster with Roadmaster, Roadmaster Beatty. Tom Beatty. So we'll get back off of that. So if you're watching on YouTube. Dot com slash zfarls. You're probably going to rewind that and check it out. But all of that content at some point will be out in the game and you follow EA Sports underscore Mutt to get known when it's live. There'll be blogs coming out and Guru has your back on that. So we appreciate him giving us a sneak peek of that on this week of Madden. We have some packs. we got some questions. What are you in the mood for? Let's do it, man. Packs. Let's do some packs. we got to do some packs. What we have right now is 12 unopened packs. We'll throw in some questions here. And we, we, we love to know, does the chat like the topper first or the game changer pack? I'm kind of a pack guy with a topper at the end, but every every time I ask, like, do you want the topper, the chat's like, oh, I want the topper. So I like that. I break it up, right? I'll do the five I'll do the five and then the topper and then the five and the topper. That's All right. that's that's the way I roll. I don't know what the chat wants to do, but the chat is king, so we'll uh, usually do it what they want to do, of course, but uh, Tell you what, what they want us to do is gold some good items badge here. So right there. It. That's it's that's just your fodder for the large quick sell for the boys. The boys right. love the, boys. the large quick sell. They're huge fans of it, and I'm a big fan. Of it Always well. getting pictures in uh, for that one on Twitter. Great gold budget is pork this chop? pot roast. Pot roast. Pork Ninety-one chop. strength. Doug Funny's dog. The, oh, pork chop. Pork chop. That's what I was thinking. Of course. Ninety-one strength. Ninety-three block shed. You obviously have the Dan Williams, Brandon sleeper, Williams, sleeper but, for sure. Uh, I think we talked about him before, too. He's a sleeper. Big fan of this Telvin Smith right here. Uh, He has a new team of the week, which you should look into as well. But if you need a nice user in the middle, 89 speed plus, he was on. Well, that 94 acceleration off the edge. Well, that's right there. Makes it worth it. Fancy. Fancy. All right. Next game changer pack. Step in. Let's go. Let's see some red paint. Let's see some red paint. We're looking for some red paint here. For the chat, Mark the Shark Baron, who got a team of the week. 
Great team of the week this uh, past week. Very Definitely nice team of the week. Guys. Oh, there we go. Ron Football Parker. Cider. Let's check him out. You'll see Ron Parker later in the game of the week. 100% chance. <laughs> Sleeper note about Ron Parker. Football Outsiders. He's a strong safety with the highest man coverage at the position, I believe. Sir, uh, I didn't so know. So he's got 93 speed, 93 excel in 82-man coverage. If we compare that 82-man coverage to his teammate Eric Berry... You're going to see Look at that. that's a 10-point difference. Yep, He's also got better zone coverage. Not Doesn't have a hammer in the or the play rack, but in the big dime 146, your strong safety drops to the fourth CB. Right, right, yep. I sub a corner in, you know. But Ron Parker is a guy, if you have him in your lineup, you could keep him there because, you know, he's decent enough there. And then you could play your extra safety in that position. I so. love strong safety is one of my user positions, and yeah. I really like that speed and acceleration right yeah. there because it it really helps your first two steps, uh, so you can commit, you know, to to try and make a play. Um, you know, whereas somebody like Barry, I don't like leaving Barry out there alone. Right. You know, off right. the user stick because he's he's a little bit of vulnerability back there with his <laughs> with his speed. Would you and, maybe uh, say uh, Roy Williams' best current user strong safety at oh, the yeah. moment? Oh yeah. Because he's got the hip. I feel like he's got the hip. That's what I yep. hear. I haven't. I didn't have luck with them but I also wasn't user the other so. one well the other one I like yeah. is that uh, Taylor Mays the uh, mystery box Taylor yes. Mays he's got yeah. the size he's yeah. got the speed he's got the hit power see he's like Love he's one of those guys that comes out either limited and nobody has the coins at that moment yeah. except like ropies and, and the gurus right yeah and you and you forget about him and yeah. then you realize like wait this is that, this guy's been in the guys game. out there yeah. wait since launch wait what crazy town uh, that Kevin Johnson's a pretty nice CB Comparable, I would say, to the Robert Alford when you combine him. Also, the Demarius Randall. I still give the slight edge. You can't make the Randall right now, but the yeah. Johnson can definitely get in your lineup. So who's your favorite uh, chef star? Shazier yeah. is somebody I recommend to people a lot. I was fortunate enough to have the Kendricks early, yeah. uh, but the Shazier's made some bailout plays for me. And have you used I think the, the girly? Is still good though. I have you I used know. the girly? No, everyone, no. So I want to. I, mean, I want to. Yeah, you got to get that. You got to get that card and compare it to the uh, base elite AP, the okay. side by side. I mean, it is like the same item, and uh, I've I've been hearing. I've used him a couple times. Everyone myself. said his base. OP everyone said girly's base was gold. Was like the super sleeper. Right, yeah. And so I was when he got that item. I was like, all right, this is the guy. He's got and that frame too on the field, like that that can squeeze through the holes really well. But he's really pop full. He's gonna fall for it. Oh, red hey, paint! We're let's just, go ahead and lead in. Lead, great lead in here. Folks. So we're just talking about how JPP is gonna play this weekend. <laughs> we don't know how many snaps, but he's got ninety finesse move, and uh, this is a guy. I'll leave the baseless jokes on this one for your boy. It I, hurts I me so I bad. Well, not only you, it hurts. The fact so much that we haven't gotten many sacks this season, and he's our guy, and Tom Brady's probably gonna score about. 65 points on us terrifies me. Uh, Tom's having one of those seasons, uh, you know. It's terrifying. Like, somebody's got to slow them down, and it's probably not going to be Eli Manning, but we're going to try our hardest. Hey, uh, Odell's having quite a season, though. Tell Odell's you a monster. Yep. Odell is a monster. Putting up some numbers, too. He's killing that stat sheet again. Let's jump in on a topper. Yeah, let's do this. Split, splitting that uh, bundle up with the topper. Let's do it. There's a Legends nice. badge, yeah. Yeah, a Donovan McNabb, week Guaranteed, three, yeah. and an Andre Reed. Now, RG, when he was in here, was saying that the Andre Reed for his coin, one of the best receivers in the game. I'm going to agree. Do you like the Reed or the Sterling Sharp that's new? Oh, man, that that's tough because those guys side by side, they have a lot of the same attributes, same body build, uh, same same height, very similar. Uh, Reed, you wouldn't think, is one of those bigger receivers, but he is. He's he one is. Of those pretty physical, yeah. yeah, when, yeah. when I first uh, you know started studying up on Reed or remember Reed from when he played the Browns, I was like, you know, I don't remember him being one of those big body receivers. Right. But then, I, you know, looking back, I'm like, man, that guy is a stud. Irvin's kind of the same way. Like, you don't remember him being giant, but then you realize how physical he was when you go back. Plus, that's when you could be physical. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, you you know what I mean? So that, you, yeah. you pretty much like had to be. and uh, So I like the sharp. I, you I really like the 97 like route running? Yeah, you can't, I really you can't, do. Uh, I, I have him in the slot just for that nice little red bank. Julius Thomas here. Many, He's my guy for a while. Many people have him in the lineup. He was. And I'd see him and I'd be like, ah, you can maybe go. I didn't realize he had 89 route running. I mean, yeah. I did, but then I, you know, you, you then you forget a little bit. And you're like, ah, he's, you know, he's, yeah. Because... To me, height this season is not as important as in years past. Right. 
And that's true. Um, so I don't get as excited about... Well, I see smaller cornerbacks making better plays this year. Correct. You know? and, and being able to get in there. So, But 90 spec, 88 catching traffic, 89 route running is probably the best combo that there is. Even against Greg Olson, who I've used and really liked... I mean, he he mashes them in route so running. So I, I I compared to Jimmy Graham. Uh, those yeah. were, those were my two guys, and I ended up liking uh, Orange Julius a little bit better than. Ju- uh, I mean, Jimmy even Graham. with the route running, it's five points better than Gronk, and he's three points faster. Yeah, Gronk's exactly. got, Gronk breaks tackles, and he can block a little better. But but I mean, wow, that that I run a lot of that Gilgamesh, and you know he kind of runs that Gilgamesh pretty good. Oh, especially because you don't need release for Gilgamesh. Yeah, exactly. Because it just drags across the middle, and they're not going to get pressed. So you're not really. Okay, CJ Very nice. team of the week. Let's Very go. Very nice. Now, I was looking at this guy. I like that as a trucking back with still 88 elusive. Yep. You don't get dogged with agility or acceleration. Every now and then with a trucking back, you guys will dog them with some agility. So right, like, yeah. You'll right, have, absolutely. like, Latavius or Alfred Morris, they'll have, like, 92 speed but only 86 agility. Right, yep. Whereas this guy, you might not have the straight ahead speed, but your excel and agility is going to be pretty good for the holes. And then you're going to be able to... I love seeing that acceleration with a power back like this because he's going to be able to hit that hole. He's going to be able to... Right. Handoffs are a little bit slower this year, uh, you know? Yeah. So not a little bit. They're a lot slower yeah. this year. Yep. So that acceleration for a power back and really being able to hit the hole, hitting that two hole, hitting that four hole, you're going to... That, uh, that acceleration is super important. Pretty good catch and only 55 route running. So we might use him kind of just as a third down back. It's also one of your keys to breeze. Breezy. That's one of your keys to oh. Breezy. You know, so also very important. Consider him in the set. See, that's why you need a muck guru. Real no. talk, like right there, like I, my brain just goes immediately to on the field. <laughs> whereas like your brain goes to like, this guy's in that set. He's worth this many qu- he, Like you know the value of everything that's possible. Absolutely. You know, like I tell, I tell a lot of people at Ultimate Team, you, you gotta, you gotta kind of know, you have, a, have to have that well-rounded game to, to succeed at Ultimate Team. If you're dependent on just pulling packs to build a team, you're gonna fail, right? You gotta do some solo challenges. You gotta get in the head-to-head. You gotta go do some draft champions, right? Right. And you gotta bring, you gotta work the auction house. You gotta bring all these things together yes. to like complete your mutt game, you know? You know Here I mean? is some red paint, the best run blocking left guard, Absolutely. pretty much that there is. Uh, that we have one in our stable. Too, if you're running plays with a guard pulls like That's a your toss, guard, yep. get Iapati in there, sub him in, keep one on your bench. His price has gone down pretty favorably, and you should be utilizing him in run situations. A lot of the reason yeah. Carson's doing well this year, actually, too. Real real life talk. Yeah, yeah he's having yeah. Uh, rejuvenized, and uh, his line is a lot of reason for that. Keep shredding the packs here, and we got the the Kwan. I've been trying to buy this guy, and we talked a lot about him, but let's compare him and give you guys a quick tip. So, Christian Kirksey is probably our favorite coverage backer in the game. Nice, I did not know that. Yeah, 88 speed, 86 zone coverage. Check out this man coverage. So I play a lot of two-man under, so I need my middle linebacker to be able to cover guys, right? Christian Kirksey has 80-man coverage. Wow. So with 82 play racks. So if you play him with – I play him over Bobby Wagner. And it's pretty good, but every now and then in the run game, especially those inside zones – I only have five guys in the box, so I need all five guys to be right. pretty beefy. Right. Yep. So Kirksey, great if they're on a route. But I was thinking I get a Quan Alexander for kind of first down situations, and he's stronger, a little better speed. The play rec's not there, but the, the block shed is. So check out his block shed compared to the Kirksey right. is 91. So, yeah. Yep. So if somebody hits you with that sweep or outside run, you're going to be able to oh, get off that block yeah. and get to that edge a little bit better. And, you know, the, the zone coverage is good. You can't play as much man. But I think these guys are both a little cheaper than the Malcolm Smith, who I really like as well and is yep. kind of in the middle. But I would I would say Quan for, for the run D. That's de- definite sleeper we've talked about. Over on the YouTube.com slash ZFarls page. All right, let's... So who would you say is your just, just bar none favorite guy in, in Ultimate Team this year? Tough question. Not even a budget guy. Not even budget. Um, Just if you could, who's if made the most plays for me? Used, Ninety-two yeah. Glover Quinn, I would say. Oh yeah. I yeah. think just so economical, makes so many plays, such high zone coverage. Oh, yeah. What are the odds? What is going Real on talk. right now? Seriously, couldn't make that stuff up. It's, um, it's the beard. 
It really when you is. compare this Quinn right here, it's, it's the Irish even one. to the Dawkins, even to the Dawkins. Yep, I, I rubbed yeah, his beard before the show. <laughs> Ninety-four zone coverage. So anytime he gets in a one-on-one battle with the receiver, he's got that rating playing in his favor to hopefully make a play. I mean, you can play this guy at corner. Yeah, like absolutely. he's that good. Yeah. I thought the McCordy was great, and I still think the Quinn's even just a step up from him. Um, and of course, the dual, uh, of dual course style you want is going to help you power. Out. Yeah, of course. Oh, dual styles is nice yeah. as well. Um, how about you? It's got to be that Dawkins you were just looking at. That's yeah. one of my favorite players of all does time. Does he lay the yeah. hammer for you? He does, man. I really, I user him a lot. So that's that's get, my go-to user user item. I there. get goofed up on the Dawkins <clears throat> only because when I first got him, he was enormous. Right. Yeah, and so, so he laid some head sticks, but like he also did some goofy things. He made probably one of the best picks I've ever seen against S. Gibbs where like his nine-foot body stretched out in the end Completely zone off a tip um, pick. <laughs> it, was, it was like... It, it it was bizarre. Yeah. Um, and now he's back to normal size, and I, and I want him to come up in the run game and like lay some hits. And he's well, not, that's what I do. And that's I don't have the do. timing with him yet. Right. Yeah. That's that's what I do. I'll bring it. You know, I'll, I'll bring the heat a lot of the first part of my game, and then drop. You know, um, I'll bait him into thinking I'm I'm blitzing still with him, and then just drop back and pick City all the rest of the second half. But I love bringing him into the box. Love making tackles on the do run. Do you play him love at free safety? Love destroying sweeps. Or do you uh, free safety? Do you I, I bring keep him at the free. Yeah, yeah. Keep him at the free. Do you do you tend to play these guys out of position? No, I don't. I don't. I hate doing it because it takes the awareness down. You don't get their style. <gasps> oh my lord! Wow, Red Hello. Bay City, our last no doubt, wow. doing well, man. Cover boy. And this guy with 97 spec in a base with 92 route running, 95 catch. I mean, who are you running right now? Who do you have a wide receiver? Is this a starter for you now? I mean, do you have him already? I'd, I'd kind of think that you'd already have this one. I might have a Odell of in some the sort. Oh, there is, there is one. So. That's right. But now we could run double Odell's and just annoy people. I won't do that. I won't do that to them. So Steve Smith, we we Get pulled, that. and the reason nice. I keep him in the lineup is because of his strength. So oh, absolutely. Steve Smith has ninety strength. Press uh, what? Press with, who? With the BCA. Yeah. Blocking. Yep. Put him in the slot, and he blocks. Uh, I didn't when I first pulled it. I was excited, and then I'm like, okay, he's very solid. Yep. But the more I've used him, I'm like, nah, this guy's this guy's legit. Um, we have. The other guys we go to are Deshaun because of the route running and speed. Absolutely. I like yep. uh, Keenan just for route running. 96 is amazing. I mean, that's right up there with, with the Love Sharp. his team of the week item. I don't know if you're going to use it. The 91. One. Wicked. Pretty fire. And then Evans. Marshall was, was pretty amazing when he was morphed. Uh, but the Evans. you got a solid core there, man, though. It's Seriously. like too many guys. Yeah. Yeah. I, I sub them in and out. I try and use them based on the formations that I'm in. You know what I mean? Like, so... I really like to have Odell and Deshaun on the outside because they don't allow my opponent to take the safety yeah, way and exactly. they don't allow him yep. to press. Uh, and I, I think that's that's good. The Smith I like for blocking. The Julio and the Evans, like I I got to use them more and more to let, because I don't know their strengths yet. Like I like to review these guys for the chat. So when, when I tell a guy, yeah, this Evans is worth the coin, that they know I've done the research on right, that item yeah, to make sure absolutely. that it actually is worth the coin. Um, let's get to this legend topper. Let's do it. We let's already see. got one McNabb piece. Yep, so it's Joey Porter. Nice. We'll talk Legends a little bit about him. There's your guaranteed McNabb, McNabb, right? McNabb. So in this topper, you get a guaranteed McNabb item. Yes. So that's something we've never done before, which I saw the community loving that this morning. That's so good. I'm glad like, they like that. You're already like a step towards the legend that came out that day. So, you know, based on feedback, you know, I'll take that to the dev team and hopefully we'll uh, roll things out like that in the future. Randall Cunningham has let me down. A few times. I've heard these. I think I've heard a couple of these stories. You can actually. probably hear me scream from here <laughs> to EA. Uh, he's made some amazing plays for me in his. But I'm int very intrigued by Donovan. Right. Yep. I'm very intrigued by Donovan. I'm pretty excited. No, when did uh, Cunningham let you down? What did it, what happened? I think he fumbles sometimes. That's yep. probably more my fault because I run a shovel option with him. <laughs> but I just I think it's hilarious. Um, his deep accuracy is is good, right? Yeah, and his throw power is good. It was good. the best for a while. What I'm doing though, and I don't know how you feel about this, is I'm stepping up into the pocket when I throw with him. Yep. And I don't know if it's thinking that I'm throwing on the run or if I'm throwing like with my feet not set, or if it's putting too much of a pass lead on the ball. But he'll overthrow, and it's not a, it's not an inaccurate. And overthrow. not an inaccurate. Right? It's just that my receiver, like it looks like he's gonna catch. Right. You're like rack. Go. Oh yeah. Let's yeah. Go. Rack it, but they they like don't get there. Right. Yep. And I. It's probably a me problem. 
and I use Randall well, as that ninety five like, throw power too. I mean, you know, he's got to keep that under control. Yeah. I mean, it could be it could be that just you know you're stepping up with that throw power. Maybe you're giving him a little bit of stick. I, you know, that's I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Are you that, a big but, fan of the breeze? I, I'm. I like being able to evacuate the pocket if I need to, which he's got a little bit of a looseness. So Speaking you can, of people who evacuate the pocket, we don't have one, but Johnny Manziel stacks oh, up pretty well with this yes. tie rod and stacks up pretty well with, uh, there's another 85 at in that area. It's really hard to argue with 97 throw on the run, which is the best in the game. That team of the week, Johnny, I st I'm going like to be honest, I still use the item. Yeah. I do. I like trolling were you like, like Johnny. It's great. You're going to give him 94 throw on the run? Can you, were you like... Turn that thing up to 11. Uh, so those are some of the quarterbacks. We will try and make that McNabb, move, uh, McNabb moving forward on yep. Mutt Lunch. And we're looking forward to having Guru stop back on to Mutt Lunch as well to keep showing us what's going to be rolling out with Rolled to the Playoffs. Remember, he mentioned that not everything's coming out at once. It's going to be a rollout. So you do want to follow the EA Sports underscore Mutt Twitter account. All right, so it is time to jump into the mailbag here with Guru, special Guru edition of the mailbag. Into the sack. We're going to try. I mean, we're going to try. We're a little early on road to the playoffs. I, to I said when I asked for questions that we wouldn't ask any. <laughs> I'm not even going to ask. I'm just going to sit here and let you say whatever you want and whatever you can. You don't have to. The people know where they can go to get more info, but your right. thoughts. Yeah, absolutely. I saw you ask that question last night, and you said, no road to the playoff question. First question. Yeah. When is road to the playoffs? What's road to the playoffs? I What's to the road like, to the playoffs? That's like diabolical. This is uh, why you guys can't have nice things. We'll just put it, I mean, that's just the start. So what, what we got coming is a lot of new players, okay? Over 150 new players, over 50 new uh, sets, over 30 new solo challenges. So, like, just a massive drop of content. You guys are really going to like some of these sets we have coming some things you've never seen before um, we're gonna come back when I'm back uh, with that mutt lunch that Farles was talking about we're gonna dive into those a little deeper we're gonna show a few more of those items here and uh, get you more accustomed to some of what th those new sets are all about cool all right time to hit the mailbag let's do this first question is from BK612 how can you save contracts in mutt so, Great question. As I've said before, Guru is probably the best menu guy <laughs> I've ever seen. Uh, that's right. AJ is the best Fair casual right. man player that there is. Yep. Okay. Gibbs yeah. is probably the best playbook labber who's good at choking, <laughs> and I'm just the guy that executes. Right. That's it. Uh, you know, we, we've all got our thing. <laughs> now, menu menu navigation. I I am the best. I hold the trophy. I'm at the top of the list. Don't you know? Come at me, bro. Period. So if you're trying to save contracts. What are some tips you can give people to that? All right, so contracts are kind of a sore spot this year, okay? When people are having a t kind of a tougher time at the beginning of the season managing contracts, it seems to have died down a little bit. I think people have kind of learned how to how to kind of conserve their contracts a, a little bit. Kind of, uh, we've put the Gatorade Challenge out there every Tuesday for you to yeah. really fill up on yep. on some contracts. You get 250 contracts from that. But I'm telling you guys, you what? Here is my tip: you have to use your alternate lineup. Um, um, settings here, and I don't know if Let's you use it. that, Farles, but I build an alternate lineup, something that something that I know I can go through and beat these solo challenges with. I go through go through the journey with, and I'm not burning my my killers, right? I'm not burning my killers contracts. So I just have those guys, and there maybe these sleeper guys that we're talking about. Um, create a lineup from those guys. Boom! And go out so we there push Y for lineup it. tools. We're mm -hmm. going to change active lineup, and what we're going to do is create a new one. We can call it lineup four for now. Call it grind or whatever you want to call it. You know your your contract uh, saver lineup, or whatever. But uh, this this is the best way for you to conserve your contracts on your top players. So, in these situations, you might not want to use maybe all your best guys if you don't need them. Say, you know, say you can win these solos with eighty five Tyrod Taylor instead of taking Randall Cunningham. Sure. You know, you don't yep. take your Ferrari to go to the grocery That's store. That's it, man. Absolutely. Uh, you can do that. You don't need. 17 linemen in your lineup you can simply go with you know more balanced players yep there's no need to keep 10 linemen there's no need to run, really run three tight ends that's unless it. you have I, a set that's three tight ends there's no need right. to have yep. uh, three you know, fullbacks right there you take right. well i mean there, you have bell in there already but some people don't understand that you can take that third left outside linebacker out of there you can take that fifth Totally. Kick returner out of there. Oh, that's you know, a place so. where people burn a lot of contracts. Yeah, look at these guys that is, never hit, you know. Right, Peterson, so yeah, we now have. Contracts. And then these guys, they like hide on you yep. because they might not. Like Ted Ginn probably won't make it into my wide receiver lineup. 
but he's my best. Well, he did here, but um, special teams. He's going to be in there. Yeah, you know, and, it, and then you you think you get him out, but the number you got to really check that number in the top right. You yep. should be probably going in with like thirty five, thirty seven. Maybe players. I'm not sure the exact number you guys like to use, um, but definitely you don't want to have it at 50 if you can help it. You want to probably try and get down 40 somewhere and save some of those contracts. That's definitely a good tip. Also, from time to time, they do throw half price contracts your way. Take advantage, full so advantage of that. That's those the weekends. huge thing is to follow the, another thing to follow the Twitter for is they'll usually notify you of the weekend before, spend some uh, time and some coins on those contracts when you have a chance to get them at, at, at half cost. Especially, uh, you know, we're hearing more and more content and that's something that you want to have. Yeah, ready. content is not gonna stop. I'll tell you that, guys. So we're gonna have something every day here. You're gonna need those contracts. So these are tips you're gonna have to know and utilize. Be sure you're there on the double uh, contract weekend. Utilize this these this multiple lineup tool that's just sitting here and maybe you haven't even seen. Maybe you don't even know about it, okay? But it's it's there for you to use. So definitely, I recommend taking, taking advantage of that. Definitely. All right, here we go. Next question in the mailbag. This one's coming in from Patton. <laughs> McCown or Manziel? Oh, my God. I can't believe it. Too soon. This is so too soon from last weekend. You doing the money? Are you doing the money, man? Money in the beard. So, um, man, Manziel is the way to go. I know. Mike, call me up. M Coach Patton, call me up. I have plenty of input on this, okay? The, we got to look to the future. A 37-year-old quarterback is not the future. True, true. You thought he might be able to get you guys to like 9-7. and seven, Right. But sure, but what about next that season? Way, so now it's time to develop this guy. What happens yeah. when we get to the playoffs? Okay, McCown's getting us to the playoffs? Sure. Where else then from there? Like next season? Right. Is he even going to be back next season? I don't know. You know, so you got to play your young stud. You got to get him in there. You got to give him a chance. Today, uh, my, my favorite thing from the game last weekend was at halftime. Johnny drives down 90, 90 yards down the field. He's dancing on the sidelines after the score. And they head in and, and they stop Mike and they're like, oh, we got to get Johnny calmed down. We'll get him calmed yeah. down. Don't worry. Yeah, he got calm all right. Didn't score again for the rest of the I, game. I left. Uh, we were at a restaurant and I was watching that game and I was like, that was a pretty nice drive for the half. That was yeah. The answer was like 14-10. I'm like, yep. they got a shot. And then I came home. And I didn't turn on the game, and I'm like, what if the Browns are, like, doing something? And then I looked at the score the next day, and I was like, they didn't score. Nah, yeah, what if they weren't? And you're, you're saying this Johnny with 97 throw on the run you still use. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Still a great, great item. He's got the throw power to make, uh, you know, get the ball there. Uh, the short, uh, you throw short with him. You're, I'm definitely not throwing down the field with Johnny. You know, I'm not trying any tough throws. I'm doing a march down the field. You, have, you, use, the you use a different playbook at all with him, or you kind of keep, what do you, what play those I'll use the Browns playbook Browns with, with Johnny. I like, that and the Saints, I go back and forth between those two they have a lot of like the the mesh play the crossing plays where he can get out of the pocket follow follow the crossing route and, and hit him real nice and short on the throw on the run so nice nice all right next question we got for you via the community you guys can always ask questions what are three keys to making queens so what that's probably the most common question we get i think you know I always say, grind, get, you know, get the solos done. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but, but do you have anything else that you like to do? Or maybe it's saving coins. Maybe it's, how do you keep your coins in your pocket? So so I want to go back to where I said you kind of have to have the holistic view to the game mode to succeed, right? You have to do not only solos. You have to do you have to do uh, the sets. You have to work the auction house, all, you know, and combine all those things. And don't let it frustrate you if you're trying one of those things and not succeeding. You know, you have to bring, bring the work in the auction house, doing the solos, um, you know, ripping some packs, getting some rewards, get, uh, selling your set rewards, all of these things combined uh, to to make coins. How much time per week do you spend or did you spend managing your item binder? Oh, a lot. It's all it's all about the item binder. It's all about knowing what's coming up. Also, you know, the schedule, getting familiar with the, the ultimate team schedule, knowing what's coming out when, knowing trends, knowing, you know, uh, kind of maybe guessing what we're going to do next, uh, taking a chance once in a while on the auction house. You know, these things uh, can pay off big for you sometimes uh, and, and make some coins. Do I you find this gentleman just uh, he is so, so handsome. handsome so handsome yeah. handsome man right there <laughs> I wish I could do that one. So, it reminds me of our friend Ropey shout out to Ropey kind of looks like Ropey big shout out to Ropey Ropey's got a YouTube channel guys putting out videos with offensive tips defensive tips definitely stop by Ropey's channel check him out dude has a loaded team every single yep. season so if you want to see some of the best items play 
that's a great channel to check it out on. I know he's probably got the Leron Landry. Just look and for the guy that looks like Thor. Ropey yeah, on Twitter as well as the guy that, like he said, when you're trying to make coins and you've got to know the schedule. Ropey's a guy that's been through multiple seasons, and his lineup undergoes transformation. Sometimes he has all the best players. Sometimes he kind of like flushes his team and starts over. Sometimes he kind of maybe moves his defensive guys and says, yeah, you know, I'm kind of like waiting on things. Sure. Or they just they know how to manage a full season think, of Ultimate Team. I think a key is not getting too attached to one player or another right. player because, you know, you kind of kind of constantly have to cycle these guys. You know, we are always coming out with new things, new programs. You know, so a guy like Odell sure is going to hold his value for a long time. But, you know, paying attention to the trends, to the releases, knowing what's going to lose value because, say, something else just came out and you got to move yeah. that thing immediately. You know, that's all very important in, stuff. In having to get the latest items is an expensive habit. Like so, you don't necessarily have to get them, but right. maybe getting before the one you have loses too much value totally. based off of something else coming totally. out. Very I'm important. saying like you see, but you see this DRC and people are like this DRC is the best quarter to ever right, come out. Right. Bad, there will be a better one. And then the Sherman comes out, and people that play zone coverage are like, "Well, now I got to buy the Sherman." And right. then oh, I have to buy the Sherman, <laughs> and they and they go on the block the first day, and it's. You know, it's it's gonna ultimately settle at 500k, yeah. but it's two million when they buy it yeah. because they have to have it. And then Football Outsiders Chris Harris comes out, and then they're like, "Well, for Chris Harris is the best." Well, yeah. you've just said the three weeks in a row the CB. If they put out CBs three weeks in a row, do you think? I mean, maybe not the fourth week, but within the next three weeks, there could just be another sure. CB that comes out. Yeah. You know, I mean, you never know who's gonna have the performance that gets them the team. It has a lot to do with patience. It really totally. does, and knowing totally. the trends, knowing what we do. Um, and and it's like I said, not getting attached to an item and, and just saying I can't sell this, you know. And I, you have another to be constantly flipping. Big thing that I think is you know keeping some coins in your pocket in your bank account is important because if you see a deal on the auction, say you're on the auction house, oh absolutely, and you you go to buy a Quan Alexander and he's twenty thousand coins, and you see one for eight thousand, and you already have one. And you're like, I could buy this Quan and, and post them up. And it's just kind of a one-time thing. You just see a value. And you're like, well, I only have 6,000 coins and now right. I can't buy it. I yep. just missed a chance to make maybe 10,000 coins. Yep. And that happens to me a lot. It's like you're just near the threshold of what you need to buy. So if you keep a little extra cushion, a little emergency fund, and you see a deal, well, well now you have enough to buy it. Um, another thing that I don't think people do enough of, me included, is by using the trade block. Oh, absolutely. You know, oh, absolutely. I think the, the trade block's a big area where, you know, you can save some coins and people just it's it's much easier for me to go and buy right i, I it you know it's not as prevalent as it used to be yeah. because since the open market has taken over, everybody's trying to squeeze one, every last coin out of yeah. every last card that they have. Okay, but once in a while on the trade block, you can find, once in a gray while now these days, you can find something where they're looking for something that's maybe a little less in value. Maybe it's something that you can flip. Maybe, you know, that you can find some of the, the gap between value there. It's, it's, it's a you know, needle in a haystack on there, but once in a while, you can, you can definitely find something. Do you want to spill the greatest pro tip of all time for the trade block? Oh, the last login, absolutely. Yeah, yeah this is this is money. This this is something that used to be uh, front and center when in the trade blocks heyday. But the key is around this last login. The, this is going to show you the last time the person that has say Andrew Luck here. So you want to trade. trade for Andrew Luck? Sure. Say. Yep. Okay. And you see he's got no offers. So yep. you get real excited. There's only 17 minutes left. Yep. But then you realize. Ooh, he's locked. He logged in 44 minutes ago. Right. So this guy's kind of actively checking his console. Where if you want to trade for Troll Davis, this guy hasn't been on in a couple days. Right. So he's not going to see something that you offer to him, even if the auction is, or even if the trade is ending soon. Right. That doesn't see right there. One minute left, and you're thinking, oh, one minute left. This guy's paying attention. I'm going to make some offers. Right. Well, offer, offer, offer. Yeah. Well, he hasn't been there for two days, right? So, so I always scroll to the end, find, see the guy that was on. You know, this, so it this says under a eight, minute. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes they'll even show under a minute, so you know that guy is constantly checking back and I'll just spam them with trade offers when I know they're checking right so I like that I like that way you're not wasting your time and you know the deals that are hot and the deals that can be made it's like if you're calling uh, a team's phone to try and trade for Calvin Johnson and they're not answering well now the offers up you need to move on to your next option that's it but there's always a trade to be made and I, and I think that's a good good way to save some coins as well hashtag bring back the trade block yeah <laughs> uh, big slow 17 what budget quarterback would you use? You said you use the Manziel. Yep, yep. Um, I think for guys, the Winston and the Romo 
the 90 and the 92. Yep. Those are out there because so many people have completed those solos. Sure, absolutely. Such an important position. Do you have a preference in those guys? Do you have anybody else you like besides? I do. Sam? I like the Winston just because again he can get out of the pocket if he needs to. He has a he has the height uh, to to throw over you know the line. He doesn't have to get out of the pocket. You know he can still stand in there and make some solid throws. But again that that uh, being able to get out of the pocket if you need to is definitely an important thing. So let's see if we can find a Winston. And I'm here. not the biggest Tony Romo fan. Sorry, sorry, Dallas Nation. There's a lot of them. There's a yeah, lot of Dallas fans in here. Let's go. I'm to, much more of a Brandon Whedon guy, so I'm, you know, you guys got to enjoy his services there. For I mean, a for nine thousand coins, like that's I'm telling I, you, it's that's, obviously come down a lot, but yep. I mean, ninety eight throw power. Throw power. That's, that's what I'm saying. So he good, can, yeah. you know, he, he can force a lot of throws in there. Absolutely, he can do a little bit of everything. That's a great reward item, especially because you know people ground for the Winston. You should pick one up if you're newer to Ultimate Team. He can be your QB Absolutely. for a long time. For a yep. long time. And it's a fun little nugget at the end of the journey there, you know. So, uh, a new journey coming out with Road to the Playoffs, by the way. So, I know you guys really enjoyed Journey 1, Journey I 2. I really one. enjoyed Journey. Yeah, yeah. Just, just, it was such less of a commitment. If I had a minute, if I had a second, it was like, well, yeah, hop and play a couple of journeys. Yep. You know, you got to kind of pay attention, and, and every scenario is a little bit different. Like, and sometimes you get in one, and it's pretty easy, and you're like, all right, that was, you know. We got some unique stuff uh, that we're utilizing, too, in Journey 2, like weather, you know, a lot nice. more, too. So, nice. you've seen that. Very cool. Very cool. All right. A couple more questions in the mailbag here for your boy, Guru. Remember... Tweet at Mutt Guru because we want him to come back for Mutt Lunch and you got to let him know how much you enjoyed this. We've now had RG, now had AJ, now had Guru, and uh, this is a lot of fun. So what playbooks do you use in Mutt? Cool. So, yeah, we talked a little bit before about that. It's the Browns and the Saints. Those are my two my two playbooks. Who's uh, your current QB that you – I mean, if you, if you had, if you had a, a, a game where President came to you and said, right. Guru, Aliens – one game came back on the, the movie The Martian that ship that was real right and now there's aliens here on earth and they want to play us for civilization one game for the fate of the world you cannot use Johnny Mansell no, okay alright I cannot use Steve Young that's not re that's not out yet I can't use Steve Young alright um you know what? I've been using the Donovan McNabb for a couple of days now. He is my new favorite. That's your guy. Yeah. So you're you're saying he's the guy. He's he worth is. going for. He is. He's just he's got the size. He shakes. He's shaked off some tackles for me. For uh, sure, he's got a great sure. throw on the run. He's got that 95 throw on the run. Uh, he's got the great throw power. He's got a very good throw deep. Uh, Let's take a look at old Donovan. Absolutely here. Big fan. Uh, the Giants and, and Donovan had some some great battles over the years. This is his first time back for a long time too. Far. Seriously, he's, he's been in Madden. All, he, he was in Madden all the team back in uh, eleven, and that so was the last time we saw if him. If S. So. Gibbs was here, he'd be talking about uh, how we used Donovan McNabb. Madden 06, they got Terrell Owens, right? The Eagles. They had Brian Westbrook. They had Brian oh, Dawkins, Westbrook, I believe. Dawkins, yeah, that team. Um, oh my, that. So team you was would amazing. you'd sub Terrell Owens in the slot first play and just bomb it deep because McNabb always had the the throw power. Yeah, so absolutely, eighty seven speed, plenty to get it done. Plenty. Especially with 92 acceleration. You then also have, uh, you know, plenty of deep accuracy, good play action, good throw on run. Yep. So he's, he's going to be a great mix. You know. Yeah, he's he's a great blend. six three. I mean, it's, and and he's beefy. He's not that. He's he's a different um, character model than say Randall Cunningham. That's like a long and lean. He he just seems like he can take the hit a yeah. little bit better. Yeah. His carrying is a little bit better. You know, you're a little more confident. The orange out man. there. The orange man. Syracuse, baby. Syracuse. Oh, man, that Eagles team was uh, pretty ridiculous. They were fire. They were fire, indeed. Uh, this is more of like a historical question, yep. and, and these are the questions that I want to get into, and this important is what, stuff, I, what I think uh, is really important. How did you get started with Mutt, and uh, how long have oh, you been myself? doing it? Yeah. Me? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. 2010. Downloadable content, Madden Ultimate Team. It wasn't even it wasn't even there at launch. So uh, I remember my friend hit me up and goes, "Man, check it." He sent me he sent me um, was it a page back then? No, I'm joking. <laughs> he, back, sent, yeah. he sent me a text and he said, "Check out me? my team." Check out my team, and uh, I was like, "Your team?" What? And he had all these players kind of concocted together into a lineup, and I'm like, "What is this?" So I log in, check it out, and I was like, "Man, this is this is pretty cool." But the thing was, like, I always had to have a better squad than my friend that hit me oh, up yeah. initially. Oh, yeah. So that was my first initial driving force was to get a guy better than my friend or have the lineup better than my. You know friend. who's been stopping so, back by? Who's a, a OG as 
well is Dirty Bird. Dirty he's Bird? Ch- he has? Yeah, that's me. the What's same thing I say every Bird? time he comes in the chat. Oh like, Dirty my Bird's god, here. my dude. So Call me Bird. Because Dirty Bird would be like, yo, Forrest, you gotta come check out my team. And I'm like, what team do you use? He's like, I don't know, I got four Deion Sanders. I got, I got uh <laughs> He's like, I got the draft Deion Sanders, yep. uh, the Sandcastle. I got two of him. Oh my god. I remember his Sandcastle. Yeah, and I'm just like that. Dude, Bert, come back, man. Crazy. Hit us up. Crazy. So yeah, you're but you're an original guy. Yeah, and so you're great to to have in this role, especially as a community guy. You take it extremely serious. We appreciate it as a whole. It's it's not often in every game that you get somebody that interacts like you do and is willing to uh, take the good with the bad. I know people are super passionate, and you're easily probably the most passionate person about it. So for you to be able to like. When you have those days where you just get there are those asked days. one more time when Road to the Playoffs is coming, and you just and you just don't have one left, yeah, you just don't have like a witty comeback left because you've already used seventeen so many, of them, and it's just so like many. firing them out all day. You know that they the community brings it from a spot of love, and you, we know you have that love, so it's Absolutely, like man. You, you couldn't have anybody else doing it. So that's the thing. I mean, like I understand that passion, right? I speak like I've said before. I speak that language, right? And uh, you know, I, the feedback I provided back in two thousand ten probably wasn't the most constructive. The feedback early, but I either you know, but I learned right. real quick that you know, just saying, oh, screw you guys, this sucks. Not necessarily the best way to go about right. things. I wanted to, I wanted to change the game. I wanted to make it better, right? So, it's, what was your first trip to EA Sports like, and did that kind of change your perspective on how a how they do things, and b like how you could actually influence the game? Oh, sure, absolutely. It was 2013, came down, and just seeing the you know the passion that the developers had for had for the game, right? It's not something that I've experienced before. Something you think, you know, a lot of I've seen the word easy out in the uh, out in social out oh well that's so easy to do this or it's easy to fix that uh it's it's it, most of the time the easier something seems the harder it is and that was the case and these guys work on it uh you know work to the bone on this yeah. stuff and it, it really opened my eyes real quick about it and but you know i knew right away i needed to be part of this right and i wanted to represent you guys and make sure that we're you know our voice is heard in there and you know because this stuff is we take it very seriously i don't yeah. know if you've noticed right no, it's super important to us, It's right? too much fun to so, not take it serious. Like, that's what I say, and, and every now and then I'm like, I, I, I play Madden, and then I get like, I'm like, what am I doing? And then the end of the game happens, and I get a pick that seals the game, and I'm like, yes! Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like, that's why I play. Because every time I play, I get that feeling, and when I don't get that feeling, it's time to go, but I've gotten that feeling every year since like 1994. Yep, so, yep. you know, and, and when it's what you want to do when you're not even... When just in, for the enjoyment of it, it's, yep. you know you're doing the right thing. Well, so. the other thing was meeting up with great guys like you and other other great guys that take take it so passionately and take it. Uh, what's you know. What's amazing too, and this is like more for game changers than 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 just you, but you you come from that background as well. Like you've got Shopmaster, you've got Shop. Dirty Bird, you've got uh, Mad Scientist. You've got a guy that only cares about uniforms and helmets, right. and that's all he right. does is when he comes down, he just sits there and he's like, you got to get this helmet. Like, everyone has their own strength and role. Absolutely. You don't have to be the gameplay expert. You can maybe just be the mutt, uh, you know, the menu guy. The mutt guru. You can be, <laughs> there's so many ways to be constructive and help in areas of the game that need it. Like you can just maybe you become a zone coverage guy. I mean, yeah. Like Gibbs is yeah, Gibbs when Gibbs goes to the events, he's not he's not there to play CFM. He's there to to play yep. practice mode, try lab things, it up. lab it, share yep. that feedback with the devs, tell them, hey, these are what the community is up to. Uh, you know, what about this? Have you thought about that? Oh, you guys are doing this because okay, that all makes sense, and to have those conversations, but. Um, you know, there's devs in charge of so many different areas. Like, you just have to become Find a niche, somebody right? that's, you know? yeah, somebody that's a resource for them. So when they say, "Hey, can somebody look into this?" I've got it. Yeah, I understand. I can that's give it. you good feedback. I'm not. I'm not going to um, bark. Yeah, you that's know. it. And you know, a lot of people think we're not listening, but I guarantee, I guarantee you guys, we're listening out there. And it's not we can't always give a, an answer back, right? And it's, we can't always snap a finger and make something happen. But but we are listening. The feedback is flowing in the right direction. You know, and it's just things things don't always happen as quickly as we like them to. Okay, nobody, no. And guess what? Nobody likes it, right? But it's just one of those things where we're all going to get through it. And things are going to, and, and we're going to not stop listening. Okay, so that that's the point. It's worth it. It's worth it. All right, next question for Guru, the final one. 
What is the best part about working on Mutt? <laughs> okay, uh, real talk. Uh, a, a lot of packs. A lot of packs. And packs are cool, and opening a lot of packs is pretty cool. So uh, that's one of the best parts. Uh, working with working with a great team like uh, Billy Shouts and, and Christian Casas, uh, Pixel Pusher, you know him is out there as Twitter. Uh, working with great guys like Gibbs and AJ and Coleman, uh, Kurt. That's that's I think one of the best They're parts. They're average. About. They, average. Those guys are. I went in order. I would there. say yeah. So yeah, Coleman like was like last. I'd was say uh, <laughs> Billy for his work ethic, getting the super early. The art is just art is, like, so is fire. just fire legit. emoji. That's I don't even call him Christian. I call him fire I'm gonna emoji. Go AJ Gibbs, Gibbs, Gibbs. then who got yeah, You know yeah, I won't exactly. dog Gibbs like yeah. that. But <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So no, we appreciate. I mean, you guys are already working full jobs to come over here and, and to just kind of chat. Is we appreciate you taking the time to do it. We're gonna get Man, you back need on to do lunch. More. Need to yeah. do it more. Need to do more. Tell the people the last couple things they need to know about where they can find more about the upcoming content. Yep. And uh, every, I mean, I'm, they all know these are the hardcore guys that watch the show, but we all, we get some new people. Absolutely. First of all, make sure you're following this guy at Madden Bible. He's got the hotness. We all, we always are uh, supporting these guys, making sure that I have the newest content, being able to bring it to you. So that that starter. Second of all, uh, EA Sports underscore Mud. If you're not following that, I'd. I'd don't know what you're doing right now. So that's definitely going to be your best area of information coming to you. Uh, most timely uh, information. Also, be sure to, to follow Billy. He's a great source of information. Yeah, Ask a Q&A definitely. back and forth with definitely. him. Uh, myself, at Mutt Guru. I'm going to uh, also plug Andrew Hoffman because we like kind of just talk about Hey, Hoffman. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. 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 Say, hey, buddy. The All Hoff's right. good. The Hoff's good as well. The Hoff, right? He needs to change his Twitter In to The Hoff. But we, I mean, we didn't even get into gameplay with guys like RG, but yep. these are the guys that are watching the community. Yeah, absolutely. And they're checking in on the streams and they're seeing if we're enjoying what we're enjoying, what we like about it, what, you know, the feedback. All these guys in their own areas are, are yep. stopping by, coming yeah, in, absolutely. getting the pulse. And uh, for me, it's just, it's rewarding to be able to do this and to, and to bring you guys on. So appreciate it. Yeah. I'm about to lock in. On draft champs. Nice, nice, very so nice. So I've got a draft champs special coming in. Sweet. What I'm really enjoying about draft champions right now yep. is that you get a lot of the new content. That's that is so, so sweet. Yeah, I think absolutely. what it initially had happened was I did 150 drafts in two days. Yep. Because I could not get enough. Right. I could just it's never addictive. get enough. It is addictive. And it's uh, that it's was about like to get right at the better. launch of the game. We got to look at we got draft champions content for uh, Road to the Playoffs too, so stand by. So I would I would do these drafts. I would I, was, I would be the same player pool. So I got like really good at, at the drafts. Yep. I could kind of start to like sniff it's a, it it, out. No, it's a, it's a definite strategic. You got to be very strategic about it. And then absolutely. I then I went on to Mutt. And I got my elites out of draft champs, and then I went on to Mutt, and I popped in a couple times with draft champs, but with my Mutt teams, it's just right. so bad. Like right. I love draft champs because you're weak everywhere. But then sometimes I don't want to be weak everywhere. Everywhere, just, right? You know yeah, what exactly. I mean? Yep. So I went back into draft champs coming up, and I just didn't realize like you get all now that all like the new contents in there, yep. or, yep. Or, you know, pretty much most of the new contents in there. Um, you know, you get to use a lot of these guys. Absolutely. It's a great place to really try oh, it out. Really I, it's like the Colston, I would have never thought. You know. That he could be the guy. Yep. Just because, like, I'm not gonna go grab him. It's really like mud practice mode. It's like taking your guys in the practice. You know, you're not you you're not burning contracts on them. You're not burning your coins on them. You're not trying to pull these guys. You're going in the draft champions. You're playing. You get to take them out into a competitive field. Use them in the heat of battle, right? Like Especially the legends too, right? And, and the something, yeah, yeah, you might not be, but you can make a buying decision in DC. You know what I mean? You can be like, I, now I need to go get this guy because he's always solid for me in DC. That's why I love it. Love it. All right, I'm about to lock in on Draft Champs. Big thanks to Guru for coming out to the show. We'll have him back later in the week for Mutt Lunch. We appreciate you guys sticking here with us. Let's lock in on some Draft Champs. Let's play some draft champions here. 
We're gonna go in with the online head-to-head -head draft. We're gonna select a squad. Now, a huge piece of this is playbooks. The Dolphins are 46. The Falcons are 4-3. We know we can use the Miami playbook, but I also know we can use the Niners playbook, and I'm so much more comfortable in a 3-4 defense. But to make this fun, let's go Dolphins playbook. I think we're going to regret that later. But now we have to build for that gun empty bunch scheme. We have Jimmy Garoppolo, and we just get trash. Except for Dan Williams as a run stuffer. And Terrence Knighton, real nice. Pot roast is actually very good. 91 strength, 93 block shed. But Dan Williams is just stronger with better block shed. A little less, uh, same power move. Dan Williams is the beast in this set. And he's going to be our nose. Ooh, this is a brand new item right here. Let me just go and mute this bad boy, but we got a new item alert. New item alert right here, Ron Parker. We talked about him a bit. 93 speed, 93 excel with 86 zone coverage. He could be a really, really good user. I like Justin Tuck with that 89 Excel, and you know you love Marty B. His base is not as good as you might remember him being, but 88 spec at 6'6", that's not really, that's actually pretty decent. Um, I can't pass up the secondary players. I've already got 1D linemen. I've got Manny Lawson already down there, so I'm going to pass and take Parker just because we haven't seen him yet, and I want to actually see what he can do. Uh, Smith is good. Kelsey's very good. And we need a tight end. We need a good route runner, too. Kendall Wright could be perfect for that Miami kind of motion snap offensive route. But I think Kelsey gives us a little more versatility. And uh, we're going to go there somewhat regrettably. Those last two picks were not home run picks. Wow. This is a round right here. We've got Brian Arakpo with 93 strength and 90 excel. And Vaughn Miller. Arakpo's a little slower. But he's going to set the edge. He has 93 power move. He's a little bit better than Vaughn in each category. And I'm waiting for Von Miller to get that next level item that's really going to take over. We're going Derek Carr. We need a quarterback that can wiggle. Make no mistake, he's fast. Just as fast as Russell Wilson, the acceleration is going to make him good. Way more throw power. Deep accuracy is a match. Teddy Booyah ball game again could be a nice weapon. But Derek Carr, you take your quarterback, you get him now. That's a great new item. And we're excited to have him on our squad. Right here... Steve Smith's super balanced. You know I hate drafting linemen, but Jason Peters is a monster. Jason Peters is a flat-out monster, and uh, we could definitely utilize him. Wow, wide receiver Taiwan Jones adds a really nice element. We can't take another left tackle, even though we could play him at right tackle. Kuhn, no thanks. Give us Taiwan Jones as just kind of a speed burner. Notice he's not a halfback, but a wide receiver. Colston, wow, we're getting all the new items. Uh, brand new Football Outsiders Marquise Colston that came out. 98 catch in traffic, 96 release. Very slow, good catch. I, I can't take Brady because I've already got a quarterback. I love a good strong safety, but we've already got Parker. Huff is actually not bad, and Goldson's not bad on our base team. And we need receivers, so we're going to go Colston as a reliable safety blanket over the middle. Now we got two receivers and a tight end. Um, so we're looking pretty good. Now, Spikes has the hit power. <sighs> Peppers is very, very slow, but he's six foot seven. He'd be pretty good user. He, and Daniels... Poor Daniels. Poor Daniels' strength is, is not going to not gonna make the cut. Uh, we've got a Rackpo. You know I want to stack linebackers. Let's take a Peppers. We've got Danny Lawson. 
We can always drop him down and let him rush. We get Derek Morgan, who's like kind of the same mold. A little bit. 86 Excel's pretty good. Dunlap's a little taller, a little faster. Pursuit. Play rack. I mean, 93 finesse move. That's what we're going to take on Dunlap. And we could always sub him in for Dan Williams at DT to rush. All right, we need a CB. Um, we obviously can't take Barry because we've already taken Parker and they're they're kind of similar. Charles Woodson's way too slow to play. Orlando McLean's a little slow. This this hurts. I think we have to pick. Ew, ew. I think we have to take Barry and then play him at free safety over Woodson. That's not. Oh my goodness, now we get another free safety. We're in deep trouble in the secondary. We need CBs to come up. We need a legend CB to save us. Pouncy in the middle could be good, but I mean, we're just taking safeties left and right. And without and not even good safeties, just like me average average kind of players. Um Pouncy or Baron. We're in trouble, boys. We are in trouble. I can't play my patented dime one six, uh, one four six. Can I get a CB? Wow, we're in trouble. We are in trouble. We do. We are playing a four three. This game, so maybe we take fairly, and we might be okay. We're in trouble. I'm just talking myself into being okay, but we're not okay. We need a halfback as well. Darius Slay is very good for man coverage. Geno Atkins is good, but he's not a huge, huge, huge upgrade from the two guys we've already drafted at D-Tackle. Tullock's good in the middle, but he's just so slow. I would like him, but the fact that we don't have any CBs means you've got to take Slay. In, in our last round, can't take Glover, can't take a fullback. we got to take Bulware and just play him at MLB. And we're going to have to sit in a 4-3 this game and just... Pray that they don't throw deep on us. And it's not going to be pretty, but I'm really excited we're going to get a chance to use a lot of items we haven't really tried. We don't have a halfback, I don't think. Um, I wonder who's on the base squad. Let's kind of take a look before we go in. Yeah, we don't have a, a, a back at all. We might, if they let us, play Taiwan Jones over there, but I don't expect them to make that easy for us to do that. We have one... Good left tackle, so we'll run over there. Hearns, not too bad, right? What's he got? 87 speed. Okay, he's not, he's not, not great. Fuller has 90 speed. Fuller's probably a little bit better. A little worse route running, but maybe for drags. Um, he could be that guy. Defensively, I, I actually don't mind where we're at. I think Victor Butler's probably going to start in the middle. Or actually, no, Peppers. Okay, they put Peppers down to end. So we got Peppers. I'll probably use our Manny Lawson in the middle. Let's take a look and see at Manny Lawson. So I'm going to have to manually sub him in because he's an outside backer. Or he's an end. Uh, what is he? He's an end. They're not going to let me put him quite there. But let's just find out what Thurman has. 82 man. Parker has 82 man. I'm going to play Parker at second CB. I'm going to manually sub Parker in second CB. And I'll play Barry. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'm going to have to do something. So we'll figure that out. But, but Parker, that's a sleeper stat on the Parker. And so we'll use him. We're going to use Parker at strong safety. And we're going to have to make some plays. And hopefully it works. Uh, this is going to be the Miami Dolphins offensive playbook here in Draft Champions. Special event on uh, this week in Madden. This guy's got LaDainian Tomlinson, Antrell, Roland, DeMarco Murray. What's good about this is if you see these three guys in Mutt, you think, well, okay, he must have a lot of other players that are also really good. But in Draft Champs, you know that he's kind of limited and he is going to have weakness at every single position. I haven't played... At launch, I played a lot of draft champs, and before launch, I played more draft champs, I would say, than almost anybody. But 
since I've got my Mutt team up to a certain level, I've been like, eh, I don't really need to play Draft Champs. But we're about to head into game right now. We got the Miami Dolphins spread offense, the 4-3 defense, obviously. And uh, our opponent's going with a 3-4 defense, so we're going to have to make some plays against it. All right, we're getting ball first here, so we're going to return middle. It looks like Taiwan Jones is back there, Raiders receiver. And we're going to take it left, as we usually do. Let's see if we can get a juke, and Taiwan Jones could be, could be gone. That back juke's not working like it used to in the past. Little foop, foop. Please quit. Are you going to quit? Can I get a George? Can I get a W? Are you going to quit? He's got Drew Brees. I wonder if he's looking at my team. I should maybe look at his team, but I'm hoping he maybe just gives up. And we move on to the next round. You know, hopefully, the hope is that those Draft Champions badges, if you haven't collected those, obviously, hopefully, you did the first 10, got the two elites. But if you didn't if maybe you started to collect towards the hundred for adrian peterson or pat peterson and you didn't think that there was enough value in them for the tebow maybe you save them and hopefully they'll put some new items in those sets uh, going forward but we're in the miami playbook we're gonna go gun empty bunch the biggest issue here is gonna be our halfback he's really not gonna get open uh kelsey's pretty good hearns see we don't want hearns there we want, who's 22? Taiwan Jones, he doesn't have good route running. We're gonna take a delay of game. We are in trouble. All right, so we're gonna take our first time out. Gotta be better, gotta know the lineup, but I mean, this is worth it to get it. We're gonna go gun empty bunch. We're gonna come out in the play divide wheel and see if we can make some plays. We wanna use Taiwan Jones speed. We wanna use Colston's um, great catch in traffic. And we wanna use Derek Carr's legs as well. We're looking out, he's got Antrell Roll, who we know about. I think he's in zone coverage. And we just threw a pick, first play. Wow, he dropped it. <laughs> Good work, Farles. All right, here we go. Gun tray offset. We don't. This is kind of like the formation in the Eagles. We see a corner route, and uh, this is a pretty cool play. Let's see what we can do with it. Yeah, we can hit the halfback out of the backfield, who gets in the flat and um, makes a man miss. We're gonna go hurry up into an inside zone, but it's an outside zone. We're gonna dig through our audibles, look for the inside zone. And Robinson, we, we've got the lane. I mean, if we don't get on third and two, if we don't pick up this. And we are going to really miss not having a good halfback in this game. But Kiri Robinson, he's going to have to step up and make some plays for our offense. I mean, we now have Andre Williams in the game, who's quite possibly the worst receiving back of all time. Um, and I just don't think there's a way even with packaging, to get 44 out of the game. So we base, uh-oh, and now we're out of time. And we're going to have to take another timeout because we're about to get a delay a game. God, we're so bad. We are got to just pick faster plays. But we're kind of just freestyling here. we got the split dolphin with some, some screens. I might try halfback wheel. Once again, why am I picking all the plays that I need a good halfback for? What are you doing, Farls? Uh, we're gonna put you want Colston on a streak and you want Jones on a fade. I was about to do the opposite Why I don't know um, Let's see he's trying to use a rush. We're gonna send B upfield on a playmaker That's Taiwan Jones and that's a nice little playmaker from Derek Carr gonna take advantage of his legs We got to make sure that our opponent is not containing because that's really the only area I see being an issue we want to f get Colston. We want to run this play flipped. We want to run this halfback wheel play flipped. And um, that's... Actually, no, we don't. We want to run it the other way. I'm, I'm making mistakes here, left and right. And it's fun. It's fun to make mistakes. Let's try this play again. I probably could have thrown that. But we did not. We did not throw that. So there's that. There's that. That's on me. 
Second and ten. Oh, they've got the gun ace offset. This is a really nice formation. Our opponent's not really like doing anything. So that's a little difficult. Because is he gonna quit? Because he's not like letting us He's not like lining up inside zone defense and letting us quick throw to the half pack who's open. He's not He's just kind of, I think, feeling out his personnel and figuring out his 3-4 playbook. So, we've got a... I mean, for our spread offense, getting Derek Carr is very good. 98 throw power and can run. Taiwan Jones is good for drags. Colson's good for that seam throw. And even our tight end's pretty good. But everything else, we're kind of missing. We're kind of missing that route runner for this offense, and we're kind of missing, obviously, the receiving halfback. And now we're going to Kellen Davis, which makes no sense. And we're going to wait and throw B and throw oh, Colston. With great catch in traffic, drops the rock. Maybe that, they thought that was supposed to be a pick. All right. Um, let's try this play posts. Hopefully it's Colston on the outside left. Yeah, so we can maybe throw Colston here on the cut. We might block Y for protection. I might block the halfback. I'm probably not going to throw to the halfback. Colston, 98 catch in traffic, drops the ball. And that's the one where you need to hang on. Um, you know, you throw that, try and fit it in, 98 throw power between the safety. You need Colston to make a play for you. And he does not get it done. So, first drive... Not terrible. We made a couple, uh, one nice play with Carr, but, you know, we would have liked to convert there, and um, we're still figuring out our personnel, plus we burnt two timeouts, so kind of like a, a C drive. I would say it's like a C plus. All right, on defense, we're a 4-3 playbook, so we're probably going to use the 4-3 under. We had Julius Peppers, Dunlap, I th uh, Alu Alu is not bad, Arakpo, we're going to use her, maybe Victor Butler in the middle. And we're probably going to sit in a cover three a little bit. We've got to sub in a corner. He's got Jeremy Macklin's a good route runner, but he's got LeGarrette. Okay. He's got LeGarrette at fullback, so I expect the fullback dies. But remember, we have great beef. Or it's, uh, it's uh, Latavius. But we have, we've got great beef in the middle. Um, 46 bear under is also a formation I don't get to use a ton of. So that's something we could probably mix in to be be pretty fun. I'm going to put Barry there, and I'm going to put Parker out here. And uh, we're going to hang and see. We're going to uh, base a line. Auto motion. So we got a guy free off the left edge, but he, or off the right edge, but he ran left. Obviously, the 46 Bears' weakest side always been to the left. And so that was a good job by him to run over there. Even with Brian Arakpo, who's a tremendous edge defender, you still want to not do that. We could always sub in Manny Lawson if we want to try and get some heat. But uh, let's keep playing this. Uh, we're going to try and set up some defense. Hustle up, toss right, toss right. And that's bad. So our opponent's pretty committed to running the ball, and he should be. He's got LaDainian Thomas, and if we had LT, we would be running that ball every down as well. Um, and he's just staying in these real aggressive formations. We're going to get real pretty aggressive in defending this. Uh, maybe look for a double clamp. Go! Try and shoot a defender, which we do right there, but we hesitated. That maybe looked like CJ Spiller, so he's got two backs. He's actually got three backs. So this guy can pretty much do whatever he want. We gotta find a play like the double clamp go. That's kind of like our next mission, I would say. And um, let's see what he does. I expect t more tosses, toss right maybe. And uh, we're gonna have to get wide if that is indeed the case. But Latavius is punishing us right now. So we'll go back to the 46 and just kind of hope that we can manage that left side with a rack This is third and inches, so, and it's already the end of the first quarter. So this is a quick game in draft champs here, ticking down. 
We're on the Miami offense and defense. I'm expecting a toss right, but I'm going to try and look out for fullback dive on my own. And we'd stuff it, but I mean, on inches, he's got it. So if that's, you know, third and one, I feel like that goes to fourth and inches. But since it was only inches, we're good. But this bear under is actually working pretty well for fullback dive D because it's plugging every gap. I fully expect right here a toss. So I'm going to do that and hope that that guy eats a blocker. Nope. Okay, yeah, he looped in off the edge. Got to slow him down in the red zone. Toss? He's got to toss soon. And great job by us. We got wide. We got wide. That guy was actually hot routed to a flat zone. And um, very, very risky two on one. But that's what happens when you kind of delay that. And here is our opponent's going to be his first passing play. And while we don't have great... Well, we don't have great man cover corners. Uh, you know, we think we'll be okay. We're looking out for possibly a toss again, and then a corner route to the tight end. And we're going to try and manually time the snap. Oh, and we did, and we got PA. And he threw to the corner, and we had a purple zone, and he caught it anyways, but then he magically dropped it, and now it's fourth down, and this guy's probably going to kick a field goal. We put a purple. You guys saw it. He threw it kind of inside the purple, so maybe I'll give him that, but... This would be where if I had a blitz, I would call it. And I would sub in Manny Lawson and see if I can get some heat in. Let's try and get some heat in. Come on, Manny Lawson. One time for me, bro. Fight, fight, fight. That's cute. That's a wide open lane. Good Good read. Manny Lawson fought. He, I thought he might spook him into throwing quick, maybe throw the stick and knob before it was ready, but now you know we're about to get hit with a heavy dose of the run game one more time. I fully expect a toss. And um, we're going to need our defenders to get real wide, pretty much is what I'm thinking. And he got a seal, and he just pulverized us, man. He just pulverized us. Even though we have pretty good run-heavy defenders, he got that fourth down conversion, and now we're going to need to drive on offense. But we'll see. We might try him to the left side, see if he's weak. I know he's got a really good corner on the right side, but I don't know what he's working on the left. So... Um, just a note to players that a fullback dive, quick toss combo, is always like very, very, very tough to stop. So you should really consider using it more in your arsenal, especially if it's like a new game where you don't really know what you're doing. Terrible turnover, especially right before the half. Thought I had the throw. I mean, he was just in cover three. I thought that safety wasn't going to be able to get over, but obviously he did. And now we've got to come up with an answer for the fullback dive. Which I think we can do. He threw that. Ew! We could not have used that harder. Could not have used that play harder. I like him kind of taking a shot there. Get, let me get in with Baron here. Full back dive. Uh, to toss right. We ate that up. We ate that up with our blocker. We moved a guy out and had him on a blitz angle so he would crash hard to that side third and seven we're doing this
big hit. Uh, that's a fourth in inches. Okay. Please, please, please give me a chance to just... Don't toss it. Anything but a toss. Anything but a toss. Anything but a toss. Gosh, we put a blitzing defender right on that left side of the gap. We need to get a fourth down stop. That's two fourth down conversions for our opponent. And we need a play here. All right. Oh, okay. I thought we were... Um, he's going to flip this right, and he's going to run a... My question is, he's in fullback dive. Oh, he's in toss. Good D, good D, good defense. I might take a timeout, but I've now only got one timeout because I wasted those timeouts getting the formation set up. Now I'm probably not going to get another crack at the ball. I'm going to be down seven. He's going to get the ball. And that's... Um, that's the hard part of using those first half time timeouts because a lot of times you don't need them. But in this situation, I could really, really use them. And uh, we don't have them, so. We're going to try. And. Play. We're in trouble. We are in trouble. We are in trouble. Guys, you have to use her in the middle of the field. I got stuck on a defender. I mean, I got stuck on a CB. Like, you would never use her CB. That's the second time he's called that play. Um, but we don't really know if he's going to run it. We do have Dollar, which might actually be decent for our personnel. And then we could maybe use our Peter Bulware. I mean, we're not going to be able to stop the toss, though. That's the issue. All right, we got a, we got a spy in? Please throw me that. Sticky knot. No. And he gets ball, and he's just going to fullback dive me to death if we don't get at least three. We're in trouble. We are in trouble. Big time trouble, boys. And this is when you don't have that team that you're used to where and you don't have your playbook to go like to your bread and butter play on third down, fourth down, where things become issues. Got it. Got it, Taiwan. Oh, man, I thought we broke that play right there. Um, and honestly, he can just sit back. I can't pulverize him. I don't, know, I don't have the luxury of the clock on my side to just like destroy his defenders. So... You know, we're we're at the mercy of what we can do with Derek Carr, and uh, who knows what it what it really is. We got Taiwan Jones for a touchdown, Derek Carr. Please, Derek Carr. Please, Derek Carr. Please, Derek Carr. Nope, I threw a pick. Oh my God, we're so bad. Whoever that safety is, Sterling Moore apparently can sit in cover three and make plays. Draft champion, so tough right now. So tough right now, draft champs. <sighs> Please throw me a stick and nod. Please throw that. Please throw that. Ew, he threw that. Darius Slay, you just made a play that might have just saved my season, Darius Slay. Wow. That's what legends are made of right there, Slay. We need Colston to win us a one-on-one -on -one battle. Real talk. Like, Taiwan Jones, I was trying to win a downfield battle, but Colston, you're my guy. I can't believe in cover three, Kelsey can't get open. You know what I mean? Come on, Marcus. Come on, Mark. Oh, he doubled him. Colston one time, bro. Dear Diary, jackpot, Colston coming up, so clutch, uh, we're going to kick the extra point, 
and we just got extremely lucky here in Draft Champions. If you're my opponent, you just basically drank a coconut soda water, and your face is like, oh gosh, that's disgusting. But if you're me, you're like, yeah, I drafted Marcus Colston, I took a quarterback with 98 throw power, that guy turned the ball over, and uh, look at me now, ma. I oh, mean, I, I was hoping he would have missed that kick uh, off and we could get a free touchdown, but you can't get that lucky on back-to-back -back plays. With 10 seconds left, you know what we're going to do here. I'm going to get Peter Bulware in the game. We're going to go man up three deep. Probably the best end of the half play that there is in the game. You should pretty much go to this on all situations like this. Sometimes I go to this a little bit early and I give up a field goal. Um, but you just can't give up a deep touchdown. You know, he might go Jay Witten over the middle and take a timeout. And he's going right there. And we got him. Ron Parker. All right, now we just need... I'm going to try this. Because it wasn't that far off from working. I think the issue is you don't have... What you kind of want is, is the wheel from X. But... We're going to try and just see if we can outrun somebody with Taiwan Jones. Maybe fool a defender. And no, we're not going to be able to. Okay. Whatever. We got our gift already. We won't be greedy. All right. We're back in the second half here. We got to kick off. And if we can't stop this guy's run game, then we're in trouble. I mean, this guy's not going to pass until we make him pass. And then he's going to throw a tight end route to the corner. So that's all there is to this. It's going to be a toss. It's going to be a fullback dive. And people ask me, hey, Foss, how do you stop toss? How do you stop fullback dive? And I say, I can tell you how to stop fullback dive. I can tell you how to stop toss. But to do both is extremely difficult. And um, we're going to be up against that right now. So it we missed that tackle. It involves better tackling than that. The answer to the question involves better tackling than we just performed on that play. Um, uh, we're in trouble. Good defense. See how? Oh no! See how we kind of set the edge there though, and we ate blockers. Our then guy could come in and make a play. So that was pretty good. On his side that he has the two tight ends, I'm putting a purple over there because I don't even think this guy's good enough to just streak one of them. We are fighting for our lives here. Fourth quarter Farls in the building. Appreciate you guys stopping by tonight to watch the show. And maybe he's going to a new formation. Maybe he's taking a delay a game. Yeah, he's taking a delay a game here. So that's five yards. No, he had a, he, he wasted timeout, so that's good for us. He's got Drew Brees, so we don't really need to. Uh-oh. Fullback dive? If he... Okay, good defense, good defense. Three yards, three yards. That's DeMarco Murray. Excuse me, I, I said it was... First I said it was LeGarrette because it was 29 and the guy was huge. Then I said it was Latavius because it was Murray on the back, but it's DeMarco Murray who was in on the load screen. So, uh, my bad. He's got Spiller and Murray, which is a, a pretty nice combination. All right, we're going back to cover three. We're going to look to get rid of the tight end. Okay, stick and nod, stick and nod, stick and nod, stick and nod, stick and nod. Good hit right there by 26 coming in. Now he's gone for it three times on fourth down or two times so far. So I fully expect him to go five wide and call it one more time. Um, we haven't got our pressure in yet, but I think this is the down. I think this is the down. We smuggle our pressure in. Uh, and we make a play. Not not happening. Oh, no, we did get it in. Dunlap came off the right edge. We blitzed 
five. We sent five there. We were on a guy, but I feel like we still got credit for rushing him. And now we're in business. This is the formation that I think Gibbs told us to run from. And it's got a pretty good inside zone. And then if he baselines, you can motion a guy. If he doesn't baseline, you don't have to motion the receiver. He's pressing here. I think the middle's going to be open. Oh, yeah, Pancake City. Okay, so even Kerry Robinson can run through those holes, guys. Remember that Disney movie, Holes? I actually read the book. That's like one of those things where I'm like, ah, I read the book. But uh, I think they made a movie with the dude from Even Stevens. All right, uh, he ran commit. Okay. He ran commit, but he wasn't really that committed. We're going to... He wouldn't run commit again, would he? Here's the question. Like, I want to throw a streak to Colston for the touchdown, but then that's obvious that he's not going to run commit. So then he is going to run commit, but then he's not going to run commit. This guy is insane. He might actually have ran commit again. No, he didn't. Okay. Robinson. Ah, good juke, but no, no elusiveness to kind of avoid that tackle. Second and five, we can get a first down. Uh, they, they don't really have a fullback dive. Except from, you know, maybe goal line. So we're kind of in trouble there. They probably don't even really have much of a toss. We might look to the flat for a pass. I think we have, what, Andre Williams, though? And that's a horrible proposition for all you Giants fans out there. I mean, we could put Colston on a fade. But it's not working. And see if we can make a play. He sent the blitz. We had pretty much RB in the flat. I was concerned it was a flat zone over there. And uh, now we're down to it. Third and 13. Let's get to the gun empty bunch. And we're going to call verticals. And we need to get up to the line of scrimmage. We might motion Jones real fast. We're probably going to look for Travis Kelsey over the middle. And he's going to be open. He's going to be open. And he hangs on to it for the touchdown. So Travis Kelsey just beat, I think he was on Sergio Brown maybe, which is a matchup win for Kelsey all day. And that moves paying dividends. So now it's 17-14. And now he can run the ball, but he can't really run the ball. Like... He's probably going to have to go maybe that five wide a little bit more. And although we don't have... Our usual man coverage, you know, we're going to have to make some plays. And Lowry takes it back. So, once again, it's 17-14. I am leading the game. He's just coming out now in that formation. This guy likes to go deep, so I, I got to respect that a little bit. Um, he, hasn't come, he hasn't come out in this formation yet. Pressure, screen. Oh no, that is terrible. Oh no, that's really bad. Okay. Well now we know we gotta look out for a screen anytime he comes out anytime he comes out in a formation that he's never come out in before. And maybe he does it again. I don't think he will though. Okay, we defense just ate him alive right there. That's a three yard loss. We're gonna run uh, pass commit screen again. Ew, and we the fact that we weren't ready for that is just really bad on our part. I know there was a lot going on right there. But this guy's coming out in one play, and then he's audible into like a generic quick audible, but then he goes back to the play that he initially came out in. I need to remember that. Uh, this is Dime. I'm going to play some two-man here. Okay, we haven't seen this. This could be another screen. This could honestly... Nope, it's not. It's flats, but we don't care about those flats. He's going to the wheel for sure. We track that ball like an absolute hawk. Watch my path on that play. This guy's definitely going for it, by the way. But watch my... We'll go after this game if this guy doesn't quit, and we will watch my path as a user on that play. I covered a lot of ground, and... Got to tip, tip my old, tip my cap to myself since nobody here's to tip it. Nobody here's here to tip it for me. We're gonna try and amp it up. Um, he's gonna go right over the middle, so we want to take that away. <sighs> and by take it away, I mean stand there and do nothing when he throws it directly at our face. That's terrible. 
I, I, I beg of you. If you're this guy, I beg of you, please throw that again. Please throw that again to me. Call Stick and Nod, please. Ew, he was going to do it. Ew. Wow. That's... Please. Please. I'm pl I plead. I beg of you, sir. Kind sir. He didn't really... Ro did he roll out there? I feel like he did kind of roll out with Drew Brees. We're going to release the hounds. Oh, screen. But we're in two, man. We're okay. We're okay. I like that this guy, he might not know his playbook, and maybe that's his excuse, that he's calling a, an effective scheme, a dive toss scheme, and then lots of screens and four verts. Like, that's a winning scheme pretty much at any level. It's not fancy. It's not going to win you in mutt when people have real schemes. But in, in draft champs, I don't hate it. I mean, I don't really, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. He's going to definitely probably go to the tight end over the middle. I'm going to lurk with Jay Pepper, six foot seven, just make a play. Go, please throw me that. Please throw me that. Release the hounds, release the hounds. Let me know when to release the hounds. Ew. I had a spy there. I don't know what happened to it. You figured this guy's going to fourth and 11 uh, tie the game with a field goal, but he's gone for it every time he's been on fourth down. Now he's, he's going to be smart this time. And now we're going to have a chance to take the lead. All right, so he missed the field goal of all things. I don't know how I missed that. I got distracted. I can't believe I didn't go berserk right there. I don't know how he missed it, where he missed it, who he missed it, why he missed it. I don't even care, really. I just want to know. Now I just got to run the clock out. I bet he run commits uh, on probably, what, second down, would you have to say? I, f I fully expect a run commit uh, from this guy at some point, so... I don't know how we're going to take advantage of that. Maybe with like a drag. How are we going to take advantage of a run commit? Besides just streaking a guy and throwing it deep, I guess, right? Uh, I fully expect one, to be completely honest. Yeah, there it is. Got it. All right, got it, coach. So... I don't know how you know somebody's going to run commit, but sometimes you just feel it in your body. Like, this guy's going to run commit. And I don't think if he had made that field goal, he run commits. Uh, because I don't think he's as desperate if it's a tie game. And so maybe that's part of the reason, like, he was finally trailing and he just had enough of me running the ball. But I don't, I'm not really running the ball like he's running the ball. Like I, like, I feel like I should run commit against this guy. And um, now we can kind of sit back a little more. We don't have to play the 46 bear under because while it plugs all the gaps and lets you shoot a guy free in on fullback dive, which we haven't been doing well, it it's going to open us up in the passing game. So we'll let this guy run fullback dive because he needs two scores. And he's got the two-minute warning, but that's going to be over shortly. I fully, I think, a tight end corner right here. No, he's just going deep. This is not good. Okay. That is pretty good because our pressure got in and didn't let him throw off his back foot. Plus, he blocked a lot of guys, and then our guys dropped into coverage in man. I mean, they, I don't know if they would have got there in time, but uh, that was pretty good right there for us to get back and make a play on that ball. So we're a nickel normal. We could go to dime. We could go to dollar. Three, two, six. I kind of like it. We got Eric Berry. It's, it doesn't really make any sense to sub in. All right. Um... I, need, I didn't get a spy. And Ew. That's gross. How do we not look out for the screen? I was trying to get the... So right there, the mistake I made was I was trying to get a QB spy in on the play. I have my usual button routine for the dime. For the dollar. For the big dime. And then I've been doing it for the dime, but it's been a lineman that I have to adjust to. But and then in dollar, it was the same, it's the same as the dime. So... Uh, no, it's not. Screen again? Yep. Okay. So, we were, we were able to stop that. Um, let's get Peppers on the spy. We're going to... 
Ew, another screen. How do we not paying it? Farls. I hope hope you guys are laughing at me right now because that's. I mean, it's not really working for him. It worked. I mean, like I'll man up two guys on the halfback, I guess. Please throw that. Okay. Wow. Maybe my guy underneath made him lead that into such a way that it allowed the safety to make up a breakup on the play. He's only got a minute 19 left. Two timeouts. Um, I fully, I, I think I know what I'm, I'm going to get here. It's a little thing called tight end across the middle. Maybe we can finally make a play. No, we get the sack instead. This is where the quick comes, for sure. If I had to guess. I don't know if he's going to pass commit again. Or, excuse me, run commit again. But this guy seems to be pass committing and run committing. Pretty, like, you're supposed to do it on a lot of plays, which you're not. I might throw. And now pick up a block for me, RB. See, RB, I would have I liked the, the, the drag to get a block. Now we get the quit. So that was a good draft champions game. We fought pretty hard in that. Our opponent should have no shame. And if you play like my opponent played, um, there is no shame to be had. You, you, he's probably in a new playbook. I think a fullback dive, halfback toss scheme is very challenging. You know, it'll work for a driver to get you. It's a free ten points probably before your opponent slows it down. And besides that turnover at the end of the half, like that guy was in the game and. I'll tip my cap and say that you know we don't we didn't have the halfbacks to really match up with them, but that was pretty fun. I mean, it was fun to kind of have to to piece your team together and figure out playbooks on the fly. So um, we ended up kind of liking the dollar a little bit by the end of it, and the forty six bear was fun to go back to because we haven't gone back to that in about a year. Um, we haven't we, we skipped over that last year, but two years ago that's we ran that a ton, so we were able to. Use it to slow down the fullback dive and at least put, put up on a, a devastating front that he didn't really want to run it against. So that was a good draft champions win. Uh, that Miami offense, the gun empty bunch, I didn't really have the, the horses to run it, but S. Gibbs has that in the brain trust. So if you're interested in more in the Miami offensive playbook, that inside zone we broke down on this week in Madden last week, but the, uh, the brain trust has some gun empty bunch. So if you ever get Miami, you can feel pretty confident in that spread scheme. So appreciate you guys uh, with the follows on the channel and the uh, subscri subscribers hooking it up so you guys get all those brain trust updates. But we'll have to keep this Draft Champs party going. And uh, tomorrow on a maybe a Thursday edition of Mutt Lunch, we'll maybe keep doing some Draft Champs with this squad. So appreciate you guys. We'll see you next week for another show, This Week in Madden, Show 170, signing out, Z-Farls, lock up.